All right, so this uh, this video we're going to do operations with functions, uh, and as you can see in this video, we're at, we've got we're finding f plus g, f minus g, f times g, and f over g. But notice we're evaluating them, okay, at numbers. I'll have another video up uh, operations of functions uh, or operations on functions where all of these will be X okay we won't actually evaluate them we'll just we'll just add subtract multiply and divide the functions alright so let's go ahead and get started so here we have f of X and we have G of X and I've got I want to find F plus G of 2 so let's do that one first alright so I want to find f plus g of 2. All right, well, remember, this is f of 2 plus g of 2. That's all that means, okay? So f of 2, well, we know how to do that. We take the 2 and we plug it in for x in f. And so that's going to be 2 times 2, we're putting the 2 in for x, minus 1, plus g of 2. So I'm going to take the 2 and I'm going to plug it in for x in our function g. So that's plus 2 squared plus 2 minus 2. And so this is going to give me 4 minus 1 plus 4 plus 2 minus 1. All right, well, I'm sorry. 2 minus 2. Well, you can see that goes to 0. 4 plus 4 is 8, minus 1 is 7. And so for f plus g of 2, we get 7. All right, let's look at the next one, f minus g of 1. All right, so we got f minus g of negative 1. All right, so this is going to give us f of negative 1 minus g of negative 1. Alright, so here we're going to take the negative 1, plug it in for x, so that's going to be 2 times negative 1 minus 1, and then we'll take the negative 1 and plug it in for x in our function g, and so that's minus negative 1 squared plus negative 1 minus 2. Alright, so I want you to think about this. Do you see what I did wrong? Okay, just think about it a minute. Pause the video if you need to. All right, so what I did wrong is, remember, this is f of minus 1, which is this, minus g of negative 1, which is that. Okay, but remember, minus g of negative 1, it's minus this whole thing. So do not forget to put that in parentheses okay all that has to go in parentheses now when you're adding on the first one that we did you don't have to put that in parentheses see here it's like you're distributing a negative one so it's going to change each, each sign but when you're adding and that's a plus you're distributing distributing a positive one so you're just going to get the same thing back so on addition for this one it didn't matter if we put the parentheses or not the the way I would look at it is if you're in doubt if you if you're not sure do I put the parentheses or not put the parentheses you can't go wrong doing that all right so that's going to give us what negative 2 minus 1 minus and then negative 1 squared is 1 minus 1 minus 2 and so this is going to give us what negative 3 minus and that's going to be 1 minus 1 is 0 minus 2 is negative 2 and so that's going to be negative whoop, that's going to be negative 3 plus 2 which equals negative 1 alright now let's look at the multiplication alright so now let's look at the multiplication so this is going to be f of 3 times g of 3. 
All right, so now we're going to take the 3, plug it in. So that's going to be 2 times 3 minus 1. And I'll put all that in parentheses because we're going to multiply the 2. And then I'm going to plug the 3 in for x. So that's going to be times 3 squared plus 3 minus 2. All right, so now let's see, we get what? That's 6 minus 1 times, and that's going to be 9 plus 3 minus 2. And so that gives me what? 5 times, and 9 plus 3 is 12 minus 2 is 10. And so that gives me 50. All right, now let's take a look at the division. All right, so let's look at dividing. So I got f over g of 4. So all that is, is f of 4 over g of 4. All right, so here I'm going to take the 4, plug it in for x. So that's 2 times 4 minus 1 over. And now I'm going to plug the 4 in for x. So that's 4 squared plus 4 minus 2. And so that's going to give me 8 minus 1 over and that's 16 plus 4 minus 2. And so that's going to be 7 over, is that 18? 16 and 4 is 20, minus 2 is 18. And this doesn't simplify any, so that would be my final answer. All right, and like I said, I'll have another video where all these are x's, where we're, you know, just doing the operations with f of x and g of x. Okay, so check that video out. Uh, check out my other videos. Give me a like, share, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.